Hello everyone and welcome back to another devlog. Here we are in our test level that we made last time and I want to show you guys a few new things that I've made and changed since last time. Let's get into it. Starting with the fact that these guys back there, that they're now patrolling randomly. They're no longer actually on a path. They're now patrolling randomly because they don't aren't very smart. Let's see that guy there is just going back and forth from random locations. So I've adjusted that and I can now also block. So if they attack me from the front while I'm blocking, I take zero damage. You can see, but if they attack me from behind, even if I'm blocking, it won't matter. I will still take the damage. Now, currently I just take no damage at all while blocking, but of course I'll probably adjust where I'll take partial damage or it'll probably deplete my stamina. But for the time being, uh, this is good enough. Now, last time I mentioned that I'm going to start looking into procedural animation, and this is what this is. This is a fully procedural locomotion setup where this foot placement and everything is entirely driven by just a rig controller. And I have the, all the movement of his torso, his legs, and everything is now fully procedural. I can, of course, run. You can see he now is far more animated, all four directions or rather eight directions, I can move around and he automatically uh, places his feet where he needs to. And I've zoomed out the camera more uh, just to demo this. And this is still a kind of a work in progress in terms of where I want this to be. And of course, it, I can use this for turn in place as well because he just shuffles his feet around. So I'm actually not using my turn in place plugin that I was using before. You can see his feet automatically angle to the slope of the cube there. And there is, of course, still some tweaks that I need to do here and there uh, to adjust. But this is a pretty great base for me to start uh, looking into incorporating this into my actual full setup. So that way I can have a procedural kind of locomotion base and then I can use... Look, so I need to change the <laughs> the the stride length, which I can actually do uh, relatively easily on this, since it's all uh, variable driven. But when I when I'm talking about uh, procedural, this is actually what I mean. So this is my entire animation graph for this movement, and this is not even the looping animation. This is just a pose that I've piped in, and all of the animation that you see are from the control rig. If I open it up, you'll see it's a uh, there's quite a lot here and all of this I've only been recently learning so I'm no by no means an expert on it but I wanted to uh, get into it because uh, one I love proceduralism um, I've really gone to PCG and scriptable tools and everything kind of procedural in Unreal and this seemed like the next uh, logical step so I'm going to look, start looking into using this now and implementing this with the actual combat animations that I have, and we'll see where it goes from there. So if you're interested in that stuff, look forward to that, hopefully uh, relatively soon. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick catch up on what I've been doing. I know it's been two weeks since last time, but the, it took a while and there's not too many new things. It's just the small things I had took a while to do. That, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.